Welcome back to Carver Hawkeye Arena. The Hawkeyes are headed to the Sweet 16 with the 64-54 win over West Virginia. And Chelsea, I'd have to say the biggest play of the game, Gabby Marshall with the block. She did it in Minneapolis. She does it again tonight with the game tied. I mean, no surprise. She's a pro at it right now, right? Crazy. And then Sid taking it all the way to the hoop for the and one was giant for someone just inserted into the starting lineup to have that kind of confidence. I mean, that, that's impressive. Yeah, but things did not start off easy no, for this Iowa team. <laughs> West Virginia really got in their face early, just rattled them early on, and I mean, it felt like Iowa was kind of forcing some things to happen Well, that's early. West Virginia. They're right? one of the best defensive teams in the country. I mean, they only ha they held Iowa to just six points um, in the second quarter. Yeah, 26 in the first half. When I, he, sometimes Caitlin scores 26 by herself <laughs> in the first quarter. I know, so true. But the Hawkeyes, I mean, that's, that's a season low for them, six points. Yeah. And then Iowa they finally got out to a 12-point lead in the second half. That was obviously quickly erased by the Mountaineers. I mean, this was a game of runs. It's exactly what we expected, kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But at the same time, I think Iowa's maturity really shines through today. Yeah, Anna Stolke with a big game. Double-double, 12 points, 11 rebounds, and four block shots. We talked about Sid, 13 points, seven rebounds. Caitlin, 32 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. She hit five threes. Yeah, and you mentioned and said she actually set, felt like uh, Iowa played a little bit better defense. Why don't we listen in on what she said after the game? We knew they would come out blazing for sure, and that's kind of what they're all about is really pressuring us um, full court. They press us for the majority of the game. So I think our offense struggled a little bit, but I really think our defense was great this game. And I think their defense was pretty good, but I think ours is better today. I mean, it's just we found a way to win, and that's super important, like you said. Um, you know, we didn't let their runs bother us. Uh, we would get up 10. I think we got up 10 multiple times, and they'd come back and tie it or get it within two. And, um, you know, we stayed level-headed, and we stayed poised the whole game, and that just shows our maturity and that we've been in situations like that before. So I'm just really proud of how we responded. And, uh, you know, we had quite a few turnovers at halftime, and we only had six the second half, and they're a really good defensive team. So, um, you know, coming into that second half, we really, turn things around and I'm just really proud of every single person on this court. I would say I let myself feel the emotions. I teared up a little bit just looking at the other seniors, um, just thinking about all the stuff we've been through together, um, the memories that we've made out there and I don't know, Carver just has a special place in my heart. Um, the fans are amazing and I mean when you actually ex experience it every night you see how amazing Carver Hawkeye Arena is um, and I don't know, it's just so special to me. I mean, it was so loud, Scott. It was so crazy loud. loud. <laughs> it, it's actually the loudest I've ever heard it was tonight. The fans I, just willed them mm -hmm. to the Sweet 16. Very impressive. It was. And, and now, very special for the senior group yeah, as well. Yeah, to go out that way. Yes. Now, now Colorado. They're going to have Colorado and Albany. You ever been to Albany? Never been to Albany, okay. but uh, obviously the Hawkeyes are familiar with Colorado <laughs> seeing them last yeah, season yeah. in the Sweet 16. All right. We'll pitch it back to the studio. Back to you guys. Yeah.